pictures of painters like. Here in Asturias, there is a school of fine arts. There is a school of architecture. And many young people have to study away. In Salamanca, in Cuenca, in Madrid, in Seville, in Bilbao, Great, uh, at great expense, um, then to, they have to uh, no kind of aid or official support. So there are very few possibilities at, of any success in Asturias. A phenomenon in the arts appears every 30 years, doesn't it? I think it depends on the speed at which society moves and in the 20th century that speed is high. At the same time consumer society is making artists kill themselves trying to find new and original ways of presenting their work to the public. Which means that at the moment movements appear earlier than every 30 years, nearly every 10 or every five years. What is happening is that we have to wait for the test. The history of the 20th century art is not written. It's just starting now. There is a 20th century art written by the French, which is Impressionists, Post-Impressionists, Van Gogh, Cézanne, Fauvists, and Avant-Garde, and Abstraction, and so on. And we've stopped at the First World War. But these days, this vision is already being called into question, and his Histories of art are starting to appear, which include the end of the 20th century. We are starting to have a new and different vision. How long have you been painting? Well, half a century of painting. See, I was 14. When I began to paint seriously a little, before I before 14, I also painted, but not as seriously. And in a few days, I'll be 64, well, exactly half a century. Do you think that the artist is reaching a height, a limit inside his creative sense? Some yes, others no. It depends on how they synchronize with the reality of society in which they move. evolved or he has had several stages since the end of the 80s and the 90s he is known for a kind of synthesis of all his earlier work in which he enriches and reuses the subjects he has elaborated all his life but always with coherence something very curious about his religious subjects and I say to him how is it possible that you can paint a seascape and then a Christ praying in the Olive Garden and in the end I myself realize what the answer is the answer is that the sense of the sacred in our society is as much part of the old stories as in nature, the sea, the mountain, the natural environment we have to preserve. Because if not, we are not going to leave this planet to any successors at all. stage are his pictures of scratching. We have an example in the picture of the mountain Naranjo, the bullness. They are made on a rough satin surface. Then he lays the paint dissolved and very thinly and he combs it with cloth to form the skies. He produced this type of paintings 
while he had this canvas. Then there was the epoch of the religious paintings from 1975 to 1980. And then there has been all this recovery through the 80s until today, in which he synthesizes his earlier work. Through his work, do you think that a path is discovered towards himself? I believe that he himself realizes, as he speaks to other people, as everyone does, sometimes I discover things for him and he discovers them for me because we spend many hours working together, talking about the paintings, seeing what reactions they get from different people, preparing exhibitions and preparing appearances at the exhibitions. Because another innovation of Carlos Roces is that he makes his exhibitions into public public cultural events so that the people lose their fear of entering the exhibition hall. Well, soon I will make an exhibition in Manila that may be the one with the greatest repercussion in my life. In the, in the Instituto Cervantes, I will I have organized an exhibition which will be in a few months. And the perspective is that it is going to be very good. coming to the studio to fill myself with the smell of the paint which you notice while climbing the stairs and because I'm a professor of the history of art well I was ashamed to explain Michelangelo not knowing what was happening around me artist? No, I don't think so. The critic has, or should have, the virtue to translate with words in another language those the artist produces with images or materials. He produced this...